click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. We have seen previously what do you mean by the extended surface and what are the fins. Now let us look at the analysis of the same. Now in the analysis of the fins or extended surfaces of the uniform cross section area. Now here the fin can be of any shape and size. So depending on its shape and size, we will go for the analysis. Now this analysis is specifically done for the uniform cross section area. The same can be done for the non-uniform or tapering cross section area also. Now let us consider a rectangular fin. So this is a rectangular fin. Now let's see the length of the fin. Now this is basically a a bigger surface there is a bigger surface over here and onto the bigger surface there is a small fins okay and what we have done we have considered a small one elemental fin and we have tried to zoom the same so that small elemental fins is what i have zoomed over here let us consider the length of the fin is l the width is w and thickness is t let us say that the temperature of the surface on which the fin is attached is let's say T0 and the thermal conductivity of that surface is let's say K. Similarly, the air or the fluid which is blowing around the fin is having temperature T infinity and heat transfer coefficient as H. Now with this thing in our mind, let us consider a small elemental strip at a length X from the free surface. Let us consider a small elemental strip of length dx. So this is the dx over here. And this strip is kept at a distance x from the free surface. Now let us look at the heat balance for that elemental strip. We can say that let's say that q dash of x. Again, one need to understand here that my assumptions is the heat is only flowing in x direction. There is no heat flow in y or z direction. Let us say q dash of x is the heat that is flowing inward to the, the small strip. And let us say q dash of x plus dx is the heat flowing outward to this small elemental strip. Now, similarly, this heat that we have considered is due to the conduction or in the conduction form. Similarly, the heat may go out of that small elemental strip by convection itself. Let us say Q dash of H is the amount of heat that is removed from the strip due to convection. Now, first of all, I need to write down the assumptions. First one is only one dimensional heat transfer is taking place. Second one is the heat transfer is steady. Third one is no heat generation Fourth one that thermal conductivity is constant or we can consider that my material is isentropic. Now with these many assumptions in our mind, let us write down the heat balance equation. As you can see from the previous diagram, you can write down that Q dash of X is the heat that is going inward to the small elemental strip is equal to Q dash of X plus DX which is nothing but the heat that is going outward to that small elemental strip plus Q dash of convection. So that is heat removed to the fluid around it. Now this is the 
heat balance equation that we can write from the diagram itself. Now let us write down the various term in this equation. What is Q dash of x? It can be written as minus K A dt by dx is the first term. Second term is what is Q dash of x plus dx? Now this can be written by using the Taylor series which is nothing but Q dash of x plus d by dx of Q dash of x into dx. Now here basically we have used the Taylor series with the consideration of or the elimination of higher order terms. And the third one is Q dash of h is equal to h and in this case the area that I will consider is the perimeter into dx into the temperature difference that is the temperature of the element is considered as T minus the temperature of fluid. See now here we have considered the perimeter as T for the given small element. So this perimeter in this case I can write my perimeter as twice thickness plus width. So this perimeter multiplied by the width dx can be written as the surface area. So that is what I have done q dash of h is equal to h into the surface area that is p into dx multiplied by the temperature difference where t is the temperature of the small elemental stream minus t infinity where t infinity is the temperature of the fluid. Now if I put the same in the given equation what will I have? I can write this as q dash of x is equal to q dash of x plus t by dx into q dash of x dx plus h p dx t minus t infinity. Now I can obviously cancel out this and I will be left with the equation minus d by dx. Now let, let us substitute the value of q dash of x which is minus k a dt by dx into dx is equal to h p dx t minus t. Now here we need to understand that k is constant and so is a. Hence I can take this k and a outside the integral. If I can do so, if I can take the value of k and a outside the integral, I will be left with d square t by dx square. I can obviously cancel the dx over here is equal to hp. Now this k which I have taken outside, I can take it to the other side. So I can write this hp upon k a into t minus t infinity. Now this is one of the important differential equation. This is second order uh, differential equation that we need to solve now. Now what we'll do? For sake of simplicity of our analysis, we will assume that this term is nothing but m square, where m is some variable. So I can write that m is nothing but root of hp upon ka. I will also assume that this t minus t infinity is some variable theta. So I can write that theta is equal to t minus t infinity and theta dot will be t0 minus t infinity. Now since theta is equal to t minus t infinity, 
I can write that d square t by dx square is nothing but d square theta upon dx square. Now all of you need to understand these are the adjustment done just for the sake of the simplicity of analysis. Now if I put the terms I will get the modified equation as d square theta upon dx square minus m square theta is equal to 0. Now again this is second order differential equation and this is one of the particular second order particular type of the second order differential equation. Now this is one of the particular type of second order differential equation whose solution can be easily found and we have seen this mathematically previously or we have seen this in the mathematics that the solution of this kind of equation can be given as theta is equal to c1 e raised to mx plus c2 e raised to minus mx. Now this is nothing but the solution of the above differential equation. Now to find the value of c1 and c2 we need to consider the three cases which we will see in the subsequent equation. This is the main differential equation or main solution that we have got for our analysis. Now instead of rectangular fin if I consider a taper fin then I cannot if I consider the taper fin then I cannot consider this a as a constant so a will not come outside but instead the a will stay inside itself and the further we will have to solve the differential equation. So one more partial differential term will be added to the this equation. Similarly if I consider a pin fin then my parameter will be changed. Then in that case, in case of my pin fin, my perimeter will be for a circle it will be 2 pi r or I can write this as pi d where the radius or the diameter is nothing but of that small pin itself. Now that is it in the analysis of the pin of uniform cross section area. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ekida. Subscribe to Ekida.